So I've made a few stationery hauls and one of the most common comments is, this stuff is cute, but you can get it on AliExpress for cheaper. I'm gonna find out if that is true. My name's Erin and if this is your first time here, I make bullet journaling and stationery content every week so if you'd like to see more of that kind of stuff, maybe hit subscribe. Part of the reason I didn't just go with AliExpress to begin with is because I find the site really overwhelming. It's similar to eBay I guess and Wish in that lots of different people sell their wares on this one marketplace and AliExpress is like the middleman that manages the transaction. I bought a bunch of stuff from a bunch of different sellers. It was kind of an interesting experience. It wasn't as overwhelming as I thought it was going to be and I think I got some pretty good stuff. I've tried some of it. I haven't tried some of it so let's jump in and see all of the bits. Just in the interest of full disclosure, I bought all of this stuff myself with my own money and I am not sponsored by AliExpress in any way. So it's actually kind of funny. I thought I was buying everything in one order and then the main reason I made the order, this one particular item that I was really, really keen on, I don't know if I somehow didn't pay for it or if they were out of stock and they canceled the order, but for whatever reason, it took me about a week to work out that the thing that I wanted was not being shipped with the rest of the stuff, which is why it came in this separate envelope over here. And it is this stamp set of numbers. I've said a bunch of times in the videos where I use my letter stamps that I wish I had a set of numbers. This one seems like it matches my stamp sets. So yeah, they're kind of like the same sort of thing. So I haven't opened these up yet. I'm very excited. I hope that they are a nice looking typographical letter situation. You know what I mean? I hope the letters look pretty. There are some out there that I am just, sorry. We, we became an ASMR channel for a second then. There are some letter stamps out there that I think are really ugly. I dropped my bin, you know my Shein bin that I loved? I dropped it and now the spring loaded lid doesn't work anymore. Oh, I like them. There's some interesting stuff going on here. I mean, I knew this from the pictures when I picked it up, but there's some little weather stamps at the bottom too. They've got like a little sun, a sun and a cloud. So if you wanted to stamp what the weather was on any particular day, there's also symbols for at dollar sign and percentage, a little mobile phone, which looks like an old mobile phone, like a freaking Savvy or something. Do you remember those? Philips, the Philips Savvy. I had one of those when I was in high school. There's also yen and a dash. I would love for these letter and number stamp sets to come with some different punctuation, like a comma or an apostrophe. That could be the same stamp. And this one also has days of the week and it's got happy written above. It's really small. I'm not sure how well that would stamp. Look, these are kind of dirty. I feel like I have to give them a clean before I can use them or they're gonna transfer some dust into the ink or the paint pen when I use them. But overall, happy with that. Speaking in Aussie dollars here because that's what I paid in, but I'm sure you can buy stuff in your own currency on AliExpress if you'd prefer to. I got these for $8.61. And of course there are links to everything in the description as well. So if you see me looking at anything and go, I want one of them too you can do that. I'm gonna talk about the Tombos next because I've already used them a little bit, or at least one of them. So everything else, including these, came in the one package. They were all separately, like in separate little ooh, bags like this, but packaged up in the one plastic bag all together. So Tombow Jewel brush pens are famously expensive. If you buy them individually here in Australia at Officeworks, let me just check. Individual ones, $6.99 each. I grabbed three at a lower price, thanks AliExpress, $5.27 each. So total cost was $17.39 for these three Tombow Jewel brush pens. I got the 757 and 847, which are both red variations. I actually used the 757 extensively in my 2023 bullet journal setup, which you can watch up here if you'd like to. It's pretty cute, if I do say so myself. And I also got the N60, which is a gray. I really like to be able to swatch my Tombow Jewel brush pens before I buy them, which is why I so often do buy them from Officeworks. If I have a theme in mind and I don't already own pens that fit that theme, I'll actually take like, swatches of my washi tape or whatever into Officeworks with me and swatch them because you can scribble a little bit and check the colors. I have also bought them from art stores where they've been a little bit cheaper before too, but you weren't allowed to swatch them there or they didn't have it set up so that you could swatch them. And then I bought a dud green pen, which is really frustrating. It works, but I have to soak it in water for a bit first before 
I can get it to work nicely for me. So that's fun. Fair bit of packaging going on here, just gonna say. I've been getting into watercolor lately, so I picked up a set of water brush pens, the kind where they've got this squeezy barrel that you fill up with water and a lid that comes off and then inside there's a brush that is really fine tipped, which is what I wanted. I wanted some variety because I have a water brush that does just fine, but now I can have a bit more fun with it. So like a, a flat brush, I don't know much about paint brushes. It's already shedding fibers, so that's fun. I'm guessing they're gonna come out, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. No, it's looking all right now. They must've just been a couple of loose ones, hopefully. Oh, this is gonna be tricky to get back in. I don't wanna crush any of the bristles. Oh no. Okay, I think we did it. I hope we did it. One, two, three, four, five, six brushes in the set. Six pieces, refillable, portable, paintbrush, watercolor, brush, soft. What, uh, the title is so long it just goes off the screen. This cost me $5.90 Australian, which is not bad. They didn't come in any kind of packaging. They're just literally smooshed into this envelope. I'm all right with that. I don't need packaging. I was gonna probably throw it away anyway. So there you go. Oh, stickers. You guys know I love my stickers. And I have been working my way through my collection. I definitely don't have any of those hangups like save the nice things, don't use the nice things. Use the nice things, that's what they're for. And then just get more nice things. So I've had some little sticker box sets like this before. You can get stuff like this on Shein, you can get stuff like this on Wish. I think like Obujo and sites like that, a lot of them have a lot of the same stuff unless they manufacture their own things. They just resell stuff that they probably get from somewhere like AliExpress, although that's just me speculating. I can't say that for sure. But I grabbed three sets, cute vintage moments, $5.27 for all three of these little sticker boxes. They were actually different prices, even though they're kind of the same thing. So the retro vintage rose, must be this one, was $1.74, the most expensive. Antique things, which must be this one. It's got typewriters and an old rotary telephone and stuff. Antique things is $1.50. And this one with the clock on is the retro memory sticker set. $1.55, all up $5.27. I just realized it says subtotal $4.79, total $5.27, so I'm assuming that's including a shipping fee, although it doesn't actually say. No, it was free shipping. Oh, tax is separate. <sighs> we don't separate tax in Australia, so I never remember to look for it. Tax is just included in the price that you see everywhere. Makes life a lot easier. So there was 48 cents of tax. Thanks. Okay, this has got a few bits in this one. One, two, oh, oh. Wait, I ordered this stuff in September, so I've kind of forgotten now <laughs> what I ordered. So this is from Ali Deco Junk Journal Store. Total cost of these items is $7.63. So I got two sets of these cute little watercolor bottle stickers that have got florals kind of wrapped around them. They're PET stickers, so they're that plastic clear kind of looking sticker. They're a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be. The packaging says world in a bottle, which is really cute. I just think they're pretty as heck, quite large. I have mentioned in the past that I don't love large stickers in my bullet journal, but these are so pretty that I will just work out how the heck to use them. And also the backing card is really pretty too, although maybe a bit thicker than I usually like in my bullet journal, but that's okay. I might just um, find a way to use it anyway, because I like the pretty floral things all of the time. So I got a purple floral version and a pink floral version. I believe the bottles are blue in all of the colorways, but I liked these two, night fragrance and stickers are in the way. Pink Jasmine, ayy. And then a separate little set of mushrooms. Mushroom stickers, so cute, oh my goodness. And these are PET stickers as well, you get 40 in here. I love little mushrooms like this and I've been seeing so many of them in all of my Northern Hemisphere friends' autumn setups and I was just jealous, so I wanted these. They make me think of my favorite band in the world, Incubus. Their first record is called Fungus Among Us and it has the, is it Fly Agaric? Is that what this mushroom is called? Yeah, where it's got the white stalk, the red top, and the little white fleckies on the red top. I don't know anything about mushrooms. I just think they're pretty and they make me think of fairies. So that's nice. The two bottle stickers, World in a Bottle, were $1.82 each. The little mushrooms were $2.04. Total cost here is $5.68 plus tax, $7.63. What's in here? More stickers. This one says retro dried flowers and the packaging also has kind of like a bottle. Oh, I think that's actually a sticker. It's got a bottle background and then 
little floral stickers. So it kind of looks in the packaging like the flowers are in a jar, which is kind of cute, a mason jar. And that was the only thing in here. So did I just buy this one thing from one store? I suppose, yep, there it is. Mr. Paper official store. This was, it says 18 cents. I worked it out, so given this was my first time buying from AliExpress, I had a new user bonus, which got me $1.64 off. So with 17 cents worth of tax, this was one cent plus 17 cents, so 18 cents total for this with free shipping. I'm on a fairy kick and Rachel, it's all your fault. It's kind of fun, isn't it? When you buy something that maybe takes a while to arrive or that you take a while to make a video about. And so you sort of forgot what you've ordered and then it's like Christmas when you're opening it all up. So these are from Yufon official store. Total cost here, this is expensive as compared to everything else, $10.78. I got two items from these guys. One is a set of scrapbooking papers and it's got these gorgeous little cherubs and some sheet music and some text over the top with definitions of words around love, love sick, love some, loving, love set, so on and so forth. Um, they're all different. There's a bunch of sheets, I think 50 sheets in here. I love the colors. I like that it's not just brown. I like to have some different colors. Oh, I said 50 sheets. Apparently there's a hundred, which means these must be quite a nice thin paper, which is great. I love that. $5.93 for this one. And I also got a little box of fairy stickers as well, uh, 45 pieces. These are PET stickers with little fairies on, $3.87. Doubles as a shaker. $9.80 plus 98 cents of tax. This, this must just be GST, it doesn't say. Total cost 10.78, as we said. These things are gonna look quite nice together, I think. One last little collection of stuff. I'm excited about this one, but like, Get back down. Fancy fantasies from outer space. I love, I love the text that they put on this stuff. Whimsy text stickers, even the title is whimsy. I've seen everyone using these and I had to have some. I disappeared because I was silently loving life. I'm sorry, I'm getting very wrapped up in this story. Never be anyone's plan B. There's no space between the plan and the B, just plan B. It makes sense to go both ways. Does it? Ordinary days need a beam of light and tomorrow is a new day. Well, that's an old chestnut, isn't it? Those are the ones written on the back. This is a set of stickers with words on. You might have worked that out. $1.82 from Jernam with two M's official store. There appears to be some clear backed and some black with white text stickers. $1.82. Let me read you some of the ones that I can see from here. Earth is not messy. Let's run away together. That's one sticker. I just want to appreciate the complete universe. Go meet someone you like. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna probably get less use out of these than I anticipated because they're a little nonsensical, but maybe I'll just cut words out of them and use them like those fridge magnets <laughs> and just make my own stuff. Whimsy indeed. Next is a set of lace frame stickers and they're super pretty. But I tell you what, I thought these were gonna be bigger. Isn't it funny when I'm like, I want my stickers to be small and then these arrive and they're small and I'm like, I wish these were big. Anyway, you get 30 of them. They were $2.31. If you have white, white, white pages, like bright white pages in your bullet journal from Notebook Therapy, Archer and Olive, my Sassy Pigeon HQ journal that I'm using for next year has really bright white pages. You're gonna have to put these on top of something else because you will not see them. They will just disappear into the page because they are also white, but they're also very pretty. And in a similar fashion, they say white flog flower. Wow, I really can't speak today. White fog flower window, 30 pieces, PET transparent. Again, lace stickers. These ones are more like windows. They remind me of pretty elven structures in Rivendell, you know, which is what made me drawn to these. Again, thought these were gonna be significantly larger than they are. They're even smaller than the lace frames, I think, but that's okay. You know what I think these would be really cute for like a lead light sort of look, like a, uh, what do they call it? Stained glass kind of situation. If you put some watercolor down in pretty colors and then stick these over the top, I think that would be stunning. $2.31 for those bad boys. And then one last little this is so small, but I wanted these to be small, so that's okay. In the product photography for this, it looks larger than it is. They've obviously just like got in there with a macro lens and lined a bunch of these up and taken a cute little photo of it. So this little tiny set of, I'm assuming stickers, they might just be paper, has 
famous paintings inside. The cover has Van Gogh's wheat field with cypresses, I think it's called. Ah, interesting. So it's like a washi paper. It's a really thin, somewhat translucent paper. I love that because that's always really fun to layer with. I love that it's thin. So that one's got French on. Ooh. Oh, and some of them just fall out. That looks like a Monet and it says Dentition. They're cute though. I actually think these might go pretty well with my little fairies. So for all of this stuff, total cost is $76.81. That includes shipping for everything as well. Quite a bit of this stuff I did get free shipping on a couple of them. I did pay for shipping separately. For instance, this one, because I ordered him separately, that one actually was $2.04 for shipping, $8.57 for the item itself, another $1.07 of tax. So the total cost there added up to $11.68, but $2.04 of that was shipping, for example. Because it doesn't list them all itemized for me and then be like shipping cost at the bottom like it does with other retailers, it's a little bit tricky to say. But I think for all of that stuff, how much was it? I forgot. $76.81. Yeah, I think it's pretty good, particularly factoring in, I've got three Tombos here. I think the stamp set I'm gonna get a lot of use out of and the rest of it is, oh yeah, these two. I think these were a really good price. Let me know in the comments which of these is your favorite item. And if you've ordered from AliExpress and you have any tips for me, I still feel a bit out of my depth, so let me know what you recommend. <laughs> that would be really helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a little thumbs up down below so that YouTube shows it to some more people because that really helps me out. Once again, if you're not already subscribed and you're still here watching this long, then you kind of hated the video too much, so please consider hitting subscribe and joining my little family. And if you are already subscribed and this is not your first time here, I adore you. Thank you. Your support means so much to me. <laughs> I'll have another video for you in a week, so make sure that you keep an eye out for that coming soon. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'm gonna go try and work out where I'm gonna store this stuff because I need to do some organizing. Once again, my name is Erin. Thank you for being here. Go enjoy your week. <laughs> That's an order. Bye. <laughs>